Hello and welcome back to the Hellfire Commentary's dramatic reading of My Immortal. Chapter 23. A.N. Dehort the folk up beakers. One, you're just jealous because I got 10,000 reviales. One, thanks to Raven for the help and tell me about the box guru rock. Let's go shopping together. Lots of X's. 666. Six, six. Lots of X's. The door opened, and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then, Dumble Dumb and Rumbridge saw us. Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Rumbridge shouted angrily. Dumbledore blared at her. Oops, she made a mistake. He, cor he corrupted her. She means, hi, everybody come in. Well, we all came in angrily. So did all the other students. I sat between Draco, Darkness and Draco opposite B. Luddy Mary. Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They both looked exactly like Vile Volo. Who the fuck is that? I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me. It was Vampire. He and Draco were shooting at each other. Vampire? Draco? What the fuck? I asked. You fucking bustard, yelled Draco at Vampire. I want to shit next to her. No, I do, shouted. No, she doesn't fucking like you, you son of a bitch, yelled Draco. No, fuck you, motherfucker. She leaves me, not you, shouted Vampire. And then he jumped on Draco. No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat, each beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden... A terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. He had no nose, and he was wearing a grey robe. All the glass in the window he flew through fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep, started to cry. Who is Brittany? I've lost track. Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shooped eating. Everyone gasped. The room fell silent. False mort. A Bobby, Ebony, Darth Vader said evilly in his wrathful voice. Are you kidding me? Thou hast failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou, and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou dost not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please don't make me kill him, please, I begged. No, he laughed crudely. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away cackling. I bust into tears. Draco and Vampire tried, came to contort me. Suddenly, my eyes rolled up so they looked all cool and gothic. I had a vision where I saw some lightning flash, and then Voldemort came to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. No, I screamed sexily. Suddenly, I looked up and stopped having the vision. Ebony, Ebony. A, uh, you all right? asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah, I said sadly as I got up. Everything's all right, Inobi, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. OMFG, what if I'm getting all possessed like in the ring too? It's okay, girl, said B. Luddy Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what divisions mean, though. Okay, Bick, I said sadly, and then we went. End of chapter. My, wasn't that just wonderful. Join us next time in chapter 24. Bye-bye.